All right, looks like we got everything set up here. Welcome to Ice and Season Zero, Week Three. This is Overwatch versus Noblesville High School. We're gonna get started here in just a few seconds. Just want to take a quick second here to recognize our sponsors before we get started here. Town & Country Paving, Remax Executives of DeMont, Jasper County REMC, and Rich's Quick Lube in Weefield, Indiana. Without their generous donations, we wouldn't be able to make this possible. Let's see if we're ready to hop into the match here. Seems like the players are still getting set up here. Should start here in just a minute. All right, and here we go. And they're off. We got Parzival and Virtual Ghosts, our two damage dealers, is Junkrat and McCree. Pushing up, going towards the point. Team following in suit behind. Some action here. Going off to the side with Junkrat here, lobbing some grenades, getting some nice poke damage down. Noblesville trying to set up for the point and unlocks here in two seconds. has the point. Cougars try and get in there. Noblesville doing a good job here holding the point. KB is trying to find a way in. Junkrat going for some poke damage here. Gets slain. KB pushing into the point here and Moiro coming out from Noblesville. Armoro on KB's side. Crimson Soul reviving Antelope Herd there. Trying to get in, and two of KB's will fall. Noblesville doing a real good job of holding this point right now. KB just trying to find a way in. Backing up a little bit to regroup, get some heals. Noblesville pushes in and gets a double. Perhaps a new methodology is required. <laughs> Nobosol is still holding the point strong here. KB regrouping, going in. Nobosol playing a really front, frontal push here to keep him off the point. Antelope Herd staying behind, trying to get those pulls. We got McCree all coming out. That'll take down our damage dealer and our tank. Roadhog trying to get in there and do something will not work. 
The, their Junkrat on their team putting in a lot of work here. Team kill for Noblesville is about 90% on the point here. McCree's got his ult, but I don't think he'll make it there in time. Noblesville will take the first round. KB switching up the picks here, going for uh, a different pick other than Arissa this time. KB pushing towards the point here. Also switching to Tracer this round, it looks like, off the McCree. Tracer trying to go for the flank here. There's a nice shield from Noblesville on the Reinhardt to block it. Both teams just kind of hanging around the edge, waiting for the control point to unlock. KV going for the cap, pushing Noblesville off. Uh, Moira there going to get the kill on McCree. Antelope going to get the kill on Lucio. KV will defend against the Noblesville push here, see if we can keep this point. Another kill from Moira there. KB doing a real good job at holding these choke points for Noblesville to try and come in. Getting their shields up. Noblesville forced to fall back here. They break the shield down. Nice double kill from Parzival there on the defense. KB will clean him up with a 50% control here. Healing up. And like we got uh, two ults up right now. Virtual Ghost almost has his 30% off. KB just getting some poke damage in right now before their shield falls. Healing up. Mercy with her all gets, gets chained in and will get knocked down. Noblesville pushing into the point. As we come around the 80% mark. Still KB split, 14% to go. Noblesville pushing in to try and take it here. One final swing. Tracer's the one left. Mercy's on the point. KB trying to keep it overtime here for Noblesville. Noblesville will take the point over with a 99% on KB. As KB tries to push in here and take their point back. Gets a nice hook off there, Roadhog. Shield from Reinhardt comes out though to save him. Animal Purp with a nice kill on the enemy Roadhog. Parzival using his ult here, see what he can get. He gets behind him, gets a double kill here. Really good for KV to try and take this point. Creole comes out, takes out two of KVs, and we're capping the point. Overtime comes out. Antelope with a nice kill on the McCree, and overtime will go. KV gets the point, 1-1, one, one, round one. looking to stay with the same lineup here. It seemed to work for him last game. Here we go 
go again. KB looking to stay with the same lineup here. If the enemy team has a Lucio, that might cause some trouble for the well in the middle here. Might be able to knock him in. They'll have to play around that. Parzival trying to lob some grenades in there to get some poke damage off before they push in. Point unlocks in 10 seconds. Antelope to fall to their Roadhog there. Crimson Soul trying to keep his teammates alive. Uh, Junkrat coming in on the left. Our Junkrat on critical here. Points contested. Mad Darth Vader trying to keep his team alive here as Noble pushes in. Sigma will go down. Paul Svar looking for the poke. And Darth Vader getting some heals off on the map, going back in, looking to get some damage here. Parzival with a nice double kill there. Animal Perto follow up triple for there. There we go. Four people down on Noblesville. Get a revive there from Mercy on Parzival. He'll come back in and we'll cap the point. Noblesville trying to push in here, Getting, uh, gets hooked. He heals it up though. This is a really good choke point here for Parzival. He, can, he gets the kill off on Arissa. Arissa takes out Sigma. Parzival will take out McCree. KB healing up here, waiting for the push. Moira will get his ult. Noblesville trying to go for the chain there. Moira will get the ult off, go through. Gets bounced up into the air, kind of misses a few shots there. KD pushing into enemy territory here. Parzval will take out one with his ult. About a 50%. KD trying to defend, got about 55 more, or 50 more percent here on the point. Creole comes out. Looks like Nobles will decide to switch up and go to uh, Reaper here to see if they can get past this defense that KV's bringing out. Here comes a Junkrat all from Noblesville. We'll take out three. That's that's really bad for KV here. Animal Purd picks up uh, Junkrat. Noblesville will push in. Starting over from the beginning. Point contested. We're at 77% here. Moira will get a kill off on Sigma. Animal Purd, along with an assist from Sigma, will get a kill on Orissa. Noblesville trying to push in, not letting KV get this last 15% they need on the point to win. Tracer's got the ult stunned out. Tracer will get taken out by McCree. We're at 95% here for the KV boys on round one. Going for the flank there. KV will take game one from Noblesville. We'll go to game two. take a short break here. We're actually going to be switching in a sub from KV, uh, one of our healers. He's getting on right now. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Just want to go ahead and say thank you again to our sponsors, Town & Country Paving, Remax Executives, Jasper County REMC, and Rich's Quick Lube in Wheatfield, Indiana. Thank you for your generous contributions. Be right back.
All right, looks like we're getting ready to get back into it here. Match number two of Cougar Esports versus Noble High School. KV swapped in Forensic here for Crimson Soul as a healer. And we'll take the match to King's Row for game two. Seventeen seconds while they assemble the heroes. If anybody's still in chat here, we are also having our League of Legends match directly following this game. We'll be streaming that too. Make sure to stick around as the game gets ready to get started here. Got some good luck, have fun coming out in the chat here. Some good sportsmanship coming out from KV. There is no obligation for the universe to make sense to you. Looks like we got a similar lineup from last time. Parzival staying on that Junkrat. Animal Purge sticking to Roadhog, Moira on Mad Darth Vader. Anna on Forensic, our new healer who swapped in. Don't try to me sticking with Sigma. And Virtual Ghost went back to McCree from Tracer last game. Let's see how this plays out. 20 seconds of pair to attack here. I don't think you understand the gravity of this situation. Don't just sit there with your mouth full of teeth. <laughs> And they're off. Noblesville on the defense here. KV trying to attack in. This match is different from the first one. It's an attack and defense point. KV tries to attack here as uh, Noblesville defends. Ana trying to keep her teammates alive here. Moira doing the same. Junkrat will push in here to try and get some kills. Animal Perd getting it. Parsval gets the second one. As KB pushes in, Ana will take down. There we go. Four down on Noblesville's side. KB will try and cap the point. Noblesville going to respond here. KB will get the point there. KV will start escorting the payload here. Noblesville here to try and defend it. Zarya laying down some shields in the back for Noblesville. Parzival pushing real deep here as the enemy Junkrat gets a kill on to McCree. My walling out Parzival. Really close to an ultimate here. He's lobbing grenades off the wall there, trying to get him around the corner. Shield comes up. Payload's coming down the choke point. My trying to wall it off. 93% on Parzival's alts. 89% on Virtual Ghost here. As we lose one from KV, but there we go. We got two from Noblesville. Noblesville trying to defend. Animal Bird going in. Frontlining for his team while Parzival just lobs grenades from the back. <laughs> KV will get the payload to its checkpoint as they push on to the last point here. Noblesville goes for its final defense. Five minutes, 35 seconds on the clock. KV doing a real good job pushing these points down. But as they come into this choke point, they might have a little bit more of an issue. Got a ult on McCree here. No, no one else got, has an ult yet. Sigma's looking at 60%. Parzival up at 67. Enemy Junkrat all coming out. What will it get? Moira behind, flanking the other flank. Enemy Junkrat will get three there, four there for KV. And Noblesville will fight back a little bit here on this last choke point. Animal Purr taking out the Reinhardt. Uh. 
Enemy Junkrat lobbing grenades as KB tries to get back on the push here. This last choke point seems to be pretty tricky for KB. They gotta find a way to get around it. Reinhardt lobbing through the Sigma shield there. Animaplur trying to frontline for his team. McCree holding his ult, waiting for the right time to hit it here, trying to lob some damage over. Roadhog on the point, waiting for his ult here. Looks like all of KV's trying to save their ults up, all going for this final push. Payload's almost to the destination here as they go in for the final push here. Parzival gets one with his ult, Animal Purd with another. Zarya ult on them, they're grouped up. Two down on KV, two down on Noblesville. Zarya picking up three. McCree getting two, but falls to Moira. Point still pushing, no one, no one on Noblesville there. They're on it, defending. Sigma trying to hold it for his team. Animal Purd in the fray. Gets trapped, gets taken out. KV will fall back and regroup. Point is right on it, point 57 away from being on. Oh, coming out, gets two. Three minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock here. Still plenty of time for KV to do it, but they need to get it fast. KV kinda sitting still, waiting for teammates to get back up here with them. No ults available on the side of KV at the moment, besides Ana, next closest is Parzival and Junkrat. If Junkrat can get that ult, he's normally pretty good about getting some double or triple kills with it. Might be what they need to get in there. KV sitting back, they'll take one out. Six versus five on the thing here as they take one person out. KV pushing in. The payload got pushed back a little bit from that brief intermission there. They'll take out the opposing Junkrat. Reaper ult in the back will take out Ana, Sigma, and Junkrat. McCree will clean it up. Animal Purd in the front trying to peel for his team. Front line there, Mercy in the back. McCree will take her out. KB pushing Animal Purd with another one. Points contested. Ana has her ult here, so does Moira. McCree with a close behind there. Two minutes left on the clock. Noblesville doing a great job defending. KV just can't get in. Junkrat trying to go up on the top here, trying to pull something sneaky. Sees the Reaper, trying to teleport up, stops him. Gets him. He's going to try and ult it. Let's see what he gets. Goes in, gets two. That's three for Junkrat. That's a great job for KV here to get in. Sigma ult is up too. He's stunned. He's coming out. He's holding the ult. Here goes the ult. Sigma is going to try and get him up in the air and get some damage here. KB has a great push. This might be it. Noblesville desperately trying to keep the point alive. KB trying to get him off. Will it be overtime? KB takes the first point. We'll switch sides. KB will defend. Noblesville will attack to see who can do it faster. Great first two points coming out from KV there. We slacked a little bit on, on the attack there, but Noblesville had a great defense. We'll see how it pans out when we switch sides here. 30 seconds for them to pick their heroes, and we'll be into it. no obligation for the universe to make sense to you. Ah, Tempest Fujit. KV sticking with the same lineup here. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Ah, remember that time we stole the crown jewels? All hail King Jameson Fawkes the First! And, um, Duke Roadhog? What is your name anyway? Alright, 14 seconds here. KV getting their defenses set up. Barrier in place. 
putting some barriers down, trying to get it just right. Parzival stick it on this junk rat. Lobbing grenades over the wall here. As Nobleville tries to get in. One of Nobleville's own gets in. KV trying to defend. Takes him out. KB still defending here. Nobles will trying to find a way in. They need to watch that Reaper in the back line trying to get a teleport off. Reaper on Ana. Goes down in. Gets taken out by Virtual Ghost. As Ana goes down. Noblesville pushing in here. Parzval gets his ult. He's going to try and fall back here. Falls back on the point. Lucio taking out two of KVs. Lucio in trouble here. He'll go down. Here goes Parzval with the ult. He'll get two people. Three people. McCree running back. Uh, Roadhog has his ult as well. Great ult there coming out of Parzival, taking out three people and defending that point for KV. Point contested here. Two minutes, 27 seconds on the clock. Parzival will fall to Winston. Noblesville dishing out all their ults here. Moira all going straight through the shield. Junkrat all coming out will take out Sigma. Nobody from KV there to defend. McCree's on the side. Can he get the contest here? As we come to 60%, 70%. Will McCree try to hold it here? Someone's got to go in. Noblesville will get the payload. So pushing down the corridor, coming up to the choke point here on the corner. Virtual goes to fall to Reaper all coming out. We'll take out one. Sigma all coming out here. We'll take him up in the air. Roadhog all coming out too to try and clean him up. Roadhog will take out Winston. Roadhog will fall. There's Sigma all coming out from Noblesville will clean up the rest of KV and the payload will keep going down. McCree here to try and help Parzival out. Parzival will fall. Coming up to one of the final choke points here as the payload comes down. Noblesville will get the second point. Four minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock for KB to defend against this last push. KB healing up. Payload coming around the corner here. Parzval will get two with his ult. Reaper trying to go in. KB pushing back a little bit here, getting him out. Trying to push in enemy territory. Moira healing up his teammates. Looks like Forensic choosing to switch over to a AoE healer here. Kind of help the team heal up. Ana wasn't working out for him, I guess. Reaper will come in from the side. He's trying. They get a Lucio all here. And part... Uh, Take him out there with a triple from that. Parzival will take out Lucio, though. That triple really put Noblesville ahead there. Back into the mix. As KV rushes back before this final turn. Three minutes, 30 seconds on the clock for KV to defend this final point. Coming down, Noblesville pushing in. KV's kind of split up here. Moira all coming out. No shields. Ain't going to work. 
Takes out Arissa. Reaper all takes out two. We have a Lucio all here coming out, trying to contest. There goes the Lucio all. Parzival will take out one. Virtual Ghost take out another. KV trying, gets knocked off the ledge. KV trying to contest this point. Noblesville having none of it. Virtual Ghost taking out Reaper. Antelope trying to stay in, gets knocked out. Tracers switching in here, trying to rush in to get this contest. KV trying to contest here. Parzival will take out one with his ult. Tracer just trying to pick off the carries here. Two minutes, 25 seconds left on the clock. KB just holding on by a thread. Still holding on by a thread. <laughs> Looks like Parzival is switching off that junk rep for the first time going to Mai. Winston will take out a bunch there. And this might be it for KV. Takes out a fourth, and they'll take it. sides here again. We'll go back to attack here. We have a minute and 18 seconds to get this capture and payload as far as we can get it. After that, Noblesville will switch back and see how far they can get it with a nine second lead. As KV no preps their heroes here. The Virtual Ghost easy. switching over to... <laughs> switching over to Farah for the first time. Been playing McCree most of the time tonight. Attack. Looks like most of the other KV squad is staying the same. Forensic switching over to another healer here. Don't just sit there with your mouth full of teeth. 13 seconds until we get out here. Here we go, Noblesville already laying down the pain on Farah there. KB trying to push in, trying to do this as quickly as possible with the minute that they have. Antelope are trying to get the front. Forensic laying down the heels. Parzival way up in the air trying to lob down. 60 seconds left on the clock, trying to back up to heal. Reaper, ripping out there. Far really low in the front. Reaper will take out two of KV's own. 45 seconds left on the clock, trying to get as much as they can. Nobles will take out most of KV there. 35 seconds on the clock. Development. So 25 seconds on the clock here as the KB tries to make their final push, trying to get something here. Noblesville laying down the shield, just trying to turtle, hold out for another 10 seconds. KB trying to go for this contest. Moira all coming out. Forensic will take or revive Antelope Herd as they go for this push. We're going for the overtime here on the cap. Two will go down. Arissa getting free low on Noblesville. They'll take out Sigma. KV will get two more. They'll go for the overtime here to try and get it. No one there for Noblesville to contest. KV wiped him out. They'll get the point here. Roadhog trying to play front. Make sure Noblesville can't get in here to stop this. 
And KV will get the overtime there. As we stay in overtime, they have to keep this overtime. They drop it. That's it. They got to get this payload as far as they can. KV just trying. Nobles will sit in really far back. Here comes this choke point. This is where it all matters. Can KV hold it? KV trying to push in. Reaper all in the back. Four will go down on the side of KV. One left. Antelope will get him. Sigma and, and Antelope trying to hold it here. Sigma all up in the air there, and that'll get it. We got it 54.51 meters. We'll switch sides and see if Noblesville can do just as good or better in a minute and 27. no obligation for the universe to make sense to you. Here we go, KV going for the defense. Got to stop Noblesville from getting this first point and getting it farther than them. 54.51 meters down as KV tries to defend. Looks like we're sticking with about the same team here. Virtual Ghost actually switching to Reaper for the first time tonight. See if that pick works out for him. And here come Noblesville. Parzival sticking with that uh, junk rat lobbing grenades over the wall here, trying to get some poke damage off. Throwing some shields down, trying to do it. A minute 10 left on the clock. Noblesville tries to push in. KV just trying to turtle. Moira putting in a lot of work here, healing his teammates up from the poke damage coming out of Noblesville. Shields coming down. Minute left on the clock. Animal Pert and Parsifal there doing some good teamwork together, taking out two. Forty seconds left on the clock here. Some grenades coming over the wall. Team Spoke Challenger Moira doing a good job. He and his teammates up. Thirty-three seconds left. Shields coming out. Noblesville trying to push in. Some people got in. They're in the back line. KB trying to take him down. Virtual Ghost take out Reaper. Animal Pert take down Moira. Moira will take down Junkrat. Noblesville gets on the point. Point contested. They'll take him down. KV doing a real good job defending there. 14 seconds left on the clock. 10 seconds left. Noblesville tries to go for a final push here. Reaper charging in to try and go for this overtime. They want it. They'll take them both out. The contest overtime comes in. KV cleaning them up. Oh, it's coming out. They'll take out, there goes two from Parsval. Team kill, KV takes it here. That's GG for KV. KV will take it over Noblesville with a 2-0 on map two. Going to play the game here, Parsval. Probably this ultimate here coming out of him, getting two right at the end. Here's the double. And here comes the ult. This is where it all changed. Gets three of them right there. Changed it. My genius is finally recognized.
We are going to take a short break.